Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I just wanted to do a quick little look using a new eyeshadow palette. Actually, it's not new, it's new to me. From Makeup Obsessions, it's the Life is a Party palette and I'm using it to create this look today. But before I get started, I wanna go ahead and get my lips and my face together. So I'm just going in with a lip balm and using this Pure Hill Centella and Pule serum just to get my face together. Now, don't worry if I miss any products, I'm just going to list them in the description box below because I'm actually going through this pretty quickly. But I'm adding this serum before I go in with a moisturizer. Now, today I'm using this Maman Rose Water Gel Cream. Oh, I love this stuff, you guys. It's so refreshing and hydrating on the skin. The water gel creams are some of my favorite moisturizers just because they soak into the skin and they add so much hydration. Yep, take it down to the neck also. <laughs> now for my brows, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Pomade today. And I'm just using a small angled brush to draw on my brows. Cleaning them up with my Wet n Wild Concealer. This is the Photo Focus Concealer. I never use this on my face. For some reason, I just like to use it for my brows. So that's what I'm using to clean up my brows today. Now to prep my eyelids, I'm going in with my P. Louise Eyeshadow Base in the shade Rumor 04. And this is the palette that we're using today, you guys. Like I said, it's the Life is a Party eyeshadow palette. Very, very pretty, something nice for everyday looks or if you wanna add that pop of color. As you'll see today, I did a really pretty kind of pink and purple look. I'm starting out with this orange shade in the palette. But this is the orange shade and I was actually a little disappointed. I thought it would be quite a bit more pigmented, but it was very, very light. Now I'm going into this pretty kind of magenta pink type shade and just taking a fluffy brush and applying that in my crease area, blending it into that first shade. And this is what we have so far. The orange is showing up a little bit better when I put it next to that pink. Now I'm going into this gorgeous purple shade, taking another fluffy brush. It's kind of like a pointed fluffy brush though, and I'm just concentrating that in the outer portion of my crease, blending it into that magenta pink shade. Now for my lid, I'm going into this beautiful, it's kind of like a light, very, very light lilac and pink shimmer shade. As you see, I didn't cut my crease with anything prior to using the shimmer. I'm just going in, placing that down with a flat brush. Next to that, I'm going into this deep, dark purple shimmer and just blending that into the edge of that first shade and concentrating it in the outer corner of my eye. And this is what the shimmers look like. I was very, very impressed. Now I'm going in with my NYX Matte Black, with Black Liquid Eyeliner and just creating a pretty bold wing for this look. And now I'm just going to move on to my face. Starting out with my primer, I'm using this Tarte Base Tape. This is a hydrating primer, you guys. I found that I really, really like this primer. I typically go for more mattifying primers, but this one just makes your skin feel so nice and hydrated. I really, really like it. Now to take care of my dark circles, I'm using my NYX HD concealer, and I'm just using that under my eyes. I'm also going to place some of that concealer around my mouth and to help take care of any hyperpigmentation around my face. For foundation today, we're using the Milani Screen Queen Foundation. This is what it looks like. 
it's kind of thick but it's not super super thick or matte it's a really nice kind of natural luminous finish and I'm just using a semi damp brush to blend that out for my brightening concealer I'm going in with my Juvia's Place I am magic and just placing that in the areas that I want to brighten just a bit on my face Blending that out with a Shop Miss A pawpaw sponge. You guys, these sponges are so nice and soft and they're only $1.55 on the Shop Miss A website. To set those areas in place, I'm using my Becca Hydra Mist Loose Setting Powder. I use the shade Golden Bronze and I'm just going in to set under my eyes and around my mouth. You guys know this is my absolute favorite setting powder. It's so fine and it just blurs out your skin. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. I use the shade Spiced Rum and I'm just using a nice, large, fluffy brush just to tap that all around the other areas of my face, make sure that foundation is set into place. For my bronzer, I'm going in with one of the new Revolution Glow Bronzers. This one is in the shade Dark. I'm also taking a smaller fluffy brush just to tap that in the areas where I would like my face to be a little bit more bronzed and contoured. I don't typically go in with contour most days and so I just kind of use my bronzer to handle both of those jobs and this is what that bronzer looks like on me you guys I absolutely love it for blush I'm going in with my Alomar Cosmetics and it is a trio I'm using this first coral shade here called is it deserted <laughs> yeah it's called deserted beautiful beautiful coral blush and just tapping that on my cheeks for a nice flush of color. For highlight, we're going in hard and heavy today, you guys, using my Ofra and Nika Tutorials Collab Highlighter in the shade Everglow. And just taking one of my Sigma highlighting brushes to apply that. Also applying that to the bridge and the tip of my nose. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to line my eyes with one of my ColourPop gel, cream gel eyeliners. I believe this one is in the shade Piggy Bank, but it's all wiped off. Going back into the palette and just tapping into that pink magenta shade with a pointed pencil type brush and smoking out my lower lash line. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into this really pretty, it's a very light Kind of like silver and pink shimmer shade i sprayed my brush to use that it didn't really impress me too much it shows up but it's nothing amazing for my lips i'm going to line them with my color pop and ellery lip liner i wanted to go a bit bold today so i pulled out two of my la girl matte lipsticks this first one is a purple shade called love triangle and this lipstick was actually a little bit darker than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a little lighter. Very, very pretty color. But because it was so dark, I just wiped off a little bit from the center of my lips. So I can go in with this lighter shade, which is called Hush. And I'm just creating an ombre lip with the pink and the purple and that burgundy lip liner. So this was the outcome of those three colors kind of blended together. For mascara, I'm going in with my Pretty Vulgar Mascara, using this on my upper and lower lashes, no falsies today. And to set this look in place, I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. I really like this setting spray, you guys. I really, really do. <laughs> I am not kidding, I like it a lot. So this is the final look for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial for this pink and purple uh, cut crease look with a bold wing. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you on the next video. Toodles!